Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for August 10th, 2023. Well, yesterday we had kind of a well choppy day, whipsawing back and forth um, in the market as we waited on the CPI number um, that will be out before the bell uh, this morning, and yet. Here we are this morning after an overnight session, uh, gapping all the way back up as if we don't worry about what that number might be at all. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do very much appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, first off, as I mentioned right at the beginning, we've got um, a CPI report coming at the uh, an hour before uh, the open of the market. So what does that mean? Well, there's a really good chance that no matter what we think is going to happen this morning could change dramatically uh, by the time the market actually does open. Right now we're seeing um, a market trying to gap up in tremendous confidence that there is absolutely nothing wrong with the overall market today. No worries um, with the overall market We'll see if that continues to play out. So if we look right here, if the bulls continue to find inspiration in um, the market today, well, I'm gonna suggest that this resistance up here is where we wanna be watching for that first level of price resistance for them to push through. If they can push through up here, then we're probably moving right on up here to retest the highs in the diamonds. But if those bears were to find inspiration today, um, I'm going to suggest that we retest these levels down here. Notice we've had three tests right down in here and been able to hold so far, um, mostly based on, you know, earnings. Um, we Tremendous hype around earnings this quarter, and there certainly seems to be plenty of uh, folks willing to speculate heavily ahead of earnings reports continuing to pump things up. So let's watch that closely. Now, let's keep in mind we're still a long ways away from our 50-day moving average here. So if we do find reasons for bearishness, this could be um, a little bit of a painful pullback if that were to occur. If we take a look at our SPY, SPY, Pulled back yesterday, um, leaving, um, well, a little bit of uncertainty here in the sector. And as you can see, if the bulls were to continue to push through to the upside, I've got this area right in here marked as fairly sick, significant level of price resistance in the chart. And that's going to take a pretty good push to get us up there. We're going to need something um, pretty sharp to move us up there. And certainly CPI has that power to do that. Um, so let's watch that closely. If the bears were to find inspiration today, well, you can see it, I've already got it marked here. I think this level right in here could be the, the area of test. And just note that that would take us right down there, very, very close to that 50 day moving average for a possible test on the day. So watch that if uh, those bears were to come in or have reason to go ahead and attack. If we take a look at um, our QQQ, QQQ made that move and notice that we dropped down through that support. Um, AI stocks had a tough day yesterday uh, pushing on down and we are looking at that little bit of a downtrend in here. But if the bulls find um, inspiration here, um, let's look for a push right back up to this um, resistance level in the chart. Certainly looks like that could be a possibility. We might have a little bit of trouble popping just through there as well. 
but we'll see. And then if the bears find inspiration, I'm gonna suggest we come down into here, test this level of support. And one of the things that happened yesterday in the QQQ is that we did make it to the 50 day moving average. You can see um, actually closed the day just below the 50 day moving average in this morning, working that gap up. If we take a look at IWM, IWM had also had a little bit of trouble here yesterday, and we can see that possibility that we're sliding to that downside here a little bit. Um, catching some price support, so we've held right in there. That's, that's good news for the bulls that are holding in there. But if those bulls were to continue to uh, find inspiration. I'm gonna suggest that next resistance level is gonna be right up in here in the chart. And if they can pop through there, then we're probably gonna come up here to that downtrend that we lost as support here this week. So watch that close. And if the bears were to find inspiration and continue that move to the downside, I'm gonna suggest this level right in here looks like the next possibility lower. We will wanna keep in mind here that on um, IWM, if we do push down into this area, that would just simply be a test of the 50 day moving average. And having said that, um, even if we pull back here in the market, remember all the trends are still bullish. This is just relieving some very, very overbought pressure that we've seen in this market for some time. Um, let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX, a gapping, um, Gapping here this morning as well, like everything else, we're um, probably um, with a big push up, we should expect that to push down here in um, um, the VIX. Looking at this chart, we have broken that downside trend, and so far we have held this higher low here in the market. Today could be very telling as to whether or not we're going to make that decision and push on lower here um, in that chart, or if the, that fear starts to come in and pushes pushes us up pushes us up and holding that higher low in the chart and setting up that upside bullishness potential here in the VIX. Um, obviously, we've been very, very choppy waiting on this CPI number. So there's a lot of pent up energy, I think, ready to explode on the market, uh, depending on um, how that number comes out today. And there is some question on that. They continue to run stories that um, it's gonna be great, it's gonna be great, and it might be great. Um, at the same time, the Chicago, uh, or excuse me, the Cleveland Fed has a measure that they've been um, tracking on this. And their own numbers are, are suggesting that it may be hotter than expected. So kind of keep a close eye on there. And one of the things we have been seeing with oil prices shooting up, we've been seeing that pressure on the gas prices. It may not have worked into that number just yet, but remember gas prices are one of those major calculations for, um, uh, for inflation. So we'll have to watch that pretty close. If we take a look at our T2122, our T2122 indicator, we ended up finishing the day after we were selling in the last half hour of the day, pushing back down below that mid range here in the chart. Now, the pre market suggesting um, a big gap up here. In fact, right now, the Dow is suggesting a 170 point gap up this morning, that's ahead of the number, that um, we would push this uh, to the bullish side. So if um, those bulls find that inspiration, we may be well above this 50% um, area here um, at the open. And if they can maintain that bullishness, then we certainly have opened an upside opportunity and relieved a lot of that overbought pressure. But then once again, if that number isn't so good, we certainly have plenty of opportunity for downside yet here in the market if the bears find reason to continue the attack. Let's take a look at our T2108. So T2108 continued to drift lower yesterday, 51% of the stocks holding above their 40 day moving average, as you can see still have support below we've broken that trend so a rally back up we'd be watching for 
resistance levels in the chart and um, that potential of lower highs if we can't push on through to new highs. So watch that close. If the bears attack, we might break some of these support levels and that's where it might start getting a little bit uncomfortable um, here for those um, holding bullish positions. So be really careful in here. Um, a lot could change today. Uh, watch that closely in our T2107. T2107 also pulling back yesterday, but no harm really uh, going on here. 53% uh, of the stocks. Again, this is a pretty comfortable place for T2107. But if we start sinking down and breaking some of these support levels going below 50%, that will be that uncomfortableness for the bulls. If we can continue to push this morning, um, like we're showing in the pre-market, we might pop this right back up and we'd want to be watching for lower highs and, of course, watching those resistance levels in the chart. Let's take a look at our T2101. This is the one that's been really, really interesting. Um, our, our market breadth, even though that we've been swinging back and forth in these big point moves, notice that our market breadth has remained very, very low here in the market. We're not getting that momentum of direction. Today could change that. We might get that change in direction, whether it be up or down, and we might start picking up some of that momentum um, or breadth in the market. We'll want to watch that closely because it has been really, really weak here lately. And that's one of the reasons it's been difficult. If you've bought long positions, if you bought short positions, it's hard to get any uh, gain any ground in those positions because there's just not a lot of enthusiasm at the moment to push those. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar here for today. In our economic calendar, uh, we've got a few things that we'll want to be paying attention to here the, uh, this morning. And first off, it's going to be that CPI number. CPI number is largely expected, but consensus is suggesting that that declines a little bit. But I'm gonna actually go into this number and show you what consensus is, is expecting. You'll notice they're looking at a 0.2 in here, which is flat on the month over month. They're looking at a 3.3 which is an increase on the year over year on the CPI. And that's where they're, they're saying, hey, we're still cooling off and getting better. I don't know, the consensus is showing flat and maybe just a little bit higher. So um, remember, this may not, um, this is kind of questionable here, it may not come in as a great number. Um, X food and energy month over month flat and um, X food and energy year over year flat. So um, that may not show enough move to give the market a lot of confidence. Watch that close. If we take a look at our jobless claims here today, jobless claims um, also could be um, one of those market moving reports. And you can see they're expecting a little bit of an increase on the jobless claims. Um, so watch that. We know that that's been running hotter than the Fed would like to see. So it's one of those places where bad news could be good news for the market if we start to see those numbers pick up. We've got petroleum status. We've got some bond auctions in here, including a 30-year bond auction that might be interesting to pay attention to. Um, Treasury statement, Fed balance sheet later in the day, which probably no one's going to be thinking too much about because we'll probably know more and get through the morning and we're going to be thinking about this number over here on Thursday or Friday morning and then of course the consumer sentiment number coming out. So keep a close eye on that. Let's take a look at our um, earnings calendar here for today. Now, um, I apologize guys. Um, I ended up getting called away yesterday and didn't get um, just tired and I didn't put together um, a blog this morning. Um, I, I really didn't get home until about midnight last night. So um, a little bit a little bit tired here this morning so I just um, uh, went to the video instead of going into the blog. Um, if you look right here these are the notable earnings for today though if you want to grab a screenshot of this you can have that those are uh, the notable earnings that I pulled out for today so keep a close eye on those. If um, um, 
this is the first time you've seen these videos if you guys could do me a favor if this is, um, if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video I truly truly appreciate that and thank you so much for everyone who does su subscribe to the channel and then also um, if you find these videos to be worthy, if, if you find them useful in your trading for the day, if you could please do me that favor and click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. Um, as I've said here lately, even an emoji counts, we get a lot of folks watching the video, but not all that many that respond to the video. So um, the more that does, the, the engagement in that video um, um, shows that folks are watching it to the YouTube algorithm and then they tend to show that video to more folks where they have an opportunity to watch it. So um, if you can help me out with that, I would also truly, truly appreciate that. Thank you so much for everyone who does. Let's take a look at um, some stock setting up. And remember guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you're really gonna have to do your own due diligence and be very, very careful here in this market because boy, I think anything is possible here today. We could uh, gap up and whipsaw back down. We could whipsaw down and, and, get, and, and then turn around and reverse back up. I'm expecting quite a little bit of volatility around this number because there's so much pent up energy. So be really careful here and try not to over trade, uh, making sure that you're following your own trading rules, making sure that you're following your trading plan and your tolerance for risk. Don't ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas, including mine. Let's take a look at a few of these stocks that are looking pretty decent here in the market. Take a look at Home Depot. Home Depot, really nice trade pattern in here. And I got to tell you, beautiful potential chart. In fact, I told folks um, yesterday in RWO that if you wanted a really quick in and out trade, this might be right up your alley here for that possibility. But I will want to point out this is going to report next week. So kind of keep that in mind. You'd want to be in and maybe out prior to those earnings reports. But a beautiful upside trend kind of sliding back here toward um, that trend and showing some bullishness here. Uh, in the last few days. So watch that carefully in Home Depot. Um, you know, um, take a look at stocks like BLDR. BLDR have been moving up in this beautiful upside trend, looking very, very good here. And once again, kind of resting back toward that trend. And notice how we do that. We, we find those trends, find your trend and just wait for the next entry. You don't have to predict anything. You don't have to anticipate anything. Just wait for the next entry. These are two of my favorite patterns showing up in the same chart. And first off, that's following the trend up. We move up and we consolidate over and you look for the entry signal to come in somewhere near the trend, right there. There's your entry into that trade. We move on up in that chart and then we get what I call a pullback opportunity where we pull back and then we come back to trend and we see buyer step up and the momentum maintains strong in here. There's your next opportunity to the upside and we do it again and there's no reason to believe that we can't do it yet again here in BLDR. So watch that closely, um, looking very, very good in that chart. Um, we did raise a little bit of concern in some of the big tech sector um, yesterday. Take a look at Apple. Um, Apple had a really rough day yesterday selling off and this is one of those things that we we want to be watching for when we break a trend and then we start moving to the downside. You don't want to chase it to the downside at all. But if we rally back to some resistance point here in the chart and then show failure, that's our potential beginning of a downtrend to relieve some of that kind of overbought situation in Apple. So watch that closely. Um, any rally back may set up a potential short trade there in Apple, at least for the short term. And it doesn't mean the company's bad. It just means that eh, probably push the, the price of the stock a little bit too far. And if you look at the PE ratio, you can see what I'm talking about. We're very, very um, um, optimistic on these stocks. Uh, pushing those PE ratios really beyond the point of perfection. So kind of keep that in mind. Now, if this were 
to rally back toward that 50-day moving average. One of my favorite shorting patterns uh, of all time in the market is where we see that 50-day moving average starting to turn and flatten, rolling over, and we get this chart to roll back up into there, and I'm looking for that shorting trade. We call that the blue ice failure, failing under that 50-day moving average. So watch that closely. Is that possibility that that could be coming along here in Apple? Um, let's take a look at some of the other stocks out here that could be setting up. Boy, I gotta tell you, um, uh, oil. Oof. Um, Oil really, really strong, continuing to push to the upside. The worries of the Black Sea um, really inspiring oil higher here, pushing up strongly. OXY just continues. It's been very, very choppy, and it might be very difficult to hold because of that volatility that we've seen in there. But watch for that next opportunity. Again, we're just following up this trend. So if we kind of slide back in here into that trend, look for that next opportunity up. Take a look at APA. My goodness, APA just went like a rocket shot after it brought broke through this resistance here in the chart, pushing up strongly. So here's our trend. Wait for the next rest or pullback. Look for that next opportunity to maybe pick up on APA. Um, EQT, EQT, very, very strong, continuing to stretch to that upside. Um, oil sector seems to be, uh, no pun intended, but on fire here and moving very, very strongly. So little rest pull back in here hold that support hold that trend look for that next opportunity to the upside so there's a lot of these oil and gas stocks looking good and if you take a look at the refiners boy I really think this chart in Valero boy it's catching up quickly it struggled to get started here moving with Halliburton and Schlumberger but it really took off here and you can see holding that nice little support um, area here in the chart stretching on up course we got these resistance levels in the chart to be considering and that's why I think there's a good chance this may rest consolidate or pull back in here toward this trend and then look for that next opportunity to the upside so look into some of those stocks as well as you guys know I've been uh, talking about this possibility of Starbucks but boy we've been struggling here with this resistance in the chart so no trade here yet I uh, was looking for this to maybe pop on through and hold a higher low up here just not making that happen um, at the moment so um, keep an eye on it but I don't think I would be um, worried about rushing into that trade uh, take a look at lift lift also struggling here we broke through resistance and it looked like we were going to just really pile on higher we had a really good bullish candle yesterday um, in the day before yesterday and then completely reversed it um, yesterday and you can see right in here this area of support could be critical if we continue to drop through here we might actually set up that next shorting opportunity and lift if it can if it can recover and get back up in here and hold then I would look for that upside but right now it's looking a little bit on that sketchy side for that one whether it might be able to do that or not take a look at some of the retailers out there GPS really nice looking chart and there's that pattern again where we stretch up stretch up and now we're resting back looking for that next opportunity in the trade so look for kind of put that on a list watch for that next opportunity and we've been seeing a lot of retailers um, um, looking pretty good so we'll watch those closely here in the market so I'm running out of time here on my video this morning I want to wish you all a very good day keep a close eye on that news this morning before the bell anything is possible after that and I want to wish you all the best of success in the market thank you so much for being here I truly appreciate it have a great day